Hi everyone. So today I'd like to talk to you guys about labels. Um, I recently wrote this on my blog and decided to translate it into story form. So I'll just read it off to you and we'll go from there. All right. So what comes to mind when you think of the word label? Maybe you think of a soup can label. Ooh, Progresso. Or maybe a favorite brand name t-shirt comes to mind. Or if you're really creative, you're like, ooh, I'm thinking of my next tattoo. This is fake, by the way. <laughs> um, but actually, the labels I'm referring to are the ones that are invisible. We aren't born with these labels. It's something that as we go through childhood, we pick up or by the things that are spoken to us or um, things we go through, we pick up these beliefs about who we are. Now, some of them are nice, like charming or smart or, oh, she's a pretty one or the funny one. But others, others can be hurtful, and not only that, but they can be destructive if we continue to hold on to them as we grow up. Personally, I've lived my entire li life covered in labels that hid who I really was and instead burdened me with shame and insecurity. I grew up in what now they call a dysfunctional home, but actually back then, I called it normal. My dad suffered with severe depression, which was later diagnosed as bipolar disorder. Back then, I just assumed everyone's daddy had to leave every now and then for rehab or to be hospitalized. I clearly remember the day. I was five years old, and I was outside, and I saw my dad speeding down the driveway in, our, in his pickup truck. And I went running inside yelling, Mom! Mom! Daddy's leaving! He ran away! And my mom was like, no, no. And she like got me and my brother and we quickly jumped into our minivan and we went chasing after my dad. And thankfully he got stopped at a red light down the road. And my mom told my brother to hop out and jump in with dad a few cars ahead. Um, go and jump up in with him because her reasoning was that if one of us kids was with my dad that he wouldn't disappear. He did come back home, but that memory left a mark. And from then on, I believed a lie that if it was because I wasn't good enough as a child that my dad kept leaving. Like if I could be perfect, then my dad would stay and then he would be able to love me. But time passed and I kept attaching more and more labels to who I was from the things I experienced. So for the past 25 years, I've been wearing the label of orphan child, along with labels of shame, fear, unwanted, broken, and insecure. I have been a chameleon of sorts, um, hiding the, from those painful words by trying to earn people's approval and become everything they want me to be so I don't have to fear they'll reject me. My dad passed away four years ago, and I never did receive the love and attention I longed from for him. It has been a beyond challenging process, um, just letting go and just, you know, deciding that it, accepting that it's not, I'm never going to get that from him. And yeah, it's, it's beyond challenging. But in the midst of that struggle, God has been doing work in my heart. Every day now, he's revealing to me the truth of who I really am and tearing off those labels I've worn for so long. Like I said, it's a process, and some days I feel like he's ripping off old wallpaper that's determined to stay stuck fast. But one thing is certain, I no longer wear the label of orphan child. In fact, God has given me a new label, and it says, God's child. My encouragement to you is this, no matter what people have said about you, no matter what you've heard or what things you've gone through and you've experienced, just know that God wants to show you who you really are, who he, what he says about you, and the truth of who you really are in him. So whatever doesn't align with what his word says about you, you have his full permission today to trash that label. Because he promises in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. And my friend, 
You are a new creation. You are not who people say you were. You are not who you think you are. All those lies that you picked up. You are loved and God wants you to know that he has amazing plans in store for your life. Take hold of what Jesus says about you. Dive into his word. Ask God to reveal what he says about you and watch him do amazing things beyond what you could have ever imagined in your life. My prayers are with you. I appreciate you watching and may you know that you are loved beyond your capacity to understand. You are stronger than you seem and you are braver than you believe. Have a very blessed day.